Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you what happens when you lose GPS lock during flight and also how the Mavic behaves in Addy mode. Let's get started. Alright, so I've got my drone ready to go up here and what I'm going to do is take off with full GPS signal and then I'm going to be flying underneath this bridge right here. It's the 101 freeway, a major freeway in California and I'm going to show you what's going to happen as I fly underneath there and lose GPS signal. Alright, so let's go ahead and take off. Okay, so it's a little bit windy here, but you can see that it's very stable. And I've got 10 satellites right now. All right, so let's go ahead and fly in underneath the bridge. And you can see I'm losing satellite signals. So I'm down at 5. Still stable, though. I'm going to fly a little bit more underneath the bridge. And now I have three. Any moment here now, I should lose all my GPS signals here. Let me keep moving in further. All right. Now I'm in opti mode. So I'm staying in position just solely based on the vision positioning sensors. So I'll go ahead and move around a little bit here and show you how that flies around. Move backwards. Okay, forwards. So it's pretty stable. Now what I'm going to do is turn off the vision positioning system here and it's going to get a little hairy, so let's go ahead and turn that off. Okay. Now watch, watch. What happens? You can see it's starting to drift. I'm not doing anything with the controls. It's actually flying backwards. So I'm going to give it some forward stick to counteract that. Okay, bring it back in here. Okay, I've let go of the stick and it's still flying forward and then now it's moving laterally to the left toward me. I'm going to have to take control. And so what I've learned from this is that if you're flying at night and you lose GPS signal, you're not going to have any stability with the drone laterally and also vertically because it does also drift up and down. So let me just let it hover on its own and you can see exactly what happens here. Here it's starting to move forward here, holding altitude still, actually losing altitude and then going back up in altitude. Let me bring it back here. Now it was a little bit windier earlier and so it was even less stable than it is now. Now it's moving on its own again after I brought it back. So you have to be on top of your sticks at all time in order to control your drone. So now I'm taking control, bringing it back here. And let me bring it up against the wall here and hopefully you can see that a little bit better. Wind's getting a little bit stronger here now. All right, still taking control here. Very sketchy here, very sketchy. All right, in fact, I can't even let go of the sticks right now, otherwise it'll wander too far away. Let me try this again though. All right, so I'm gonna let go of the stick right now. And you see how immediately is moving out away from me. Now it just stopped for some reason. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because of the brush in front of me here. 
I'm going to turn it to the left and see if it will continue drifting forward like it was before. Actually, I think I've got GPS signal. Yeah, so it actually stopped once it acquired GPS signal and is hovering pretty stably now. There's still a little bit of a wind, but this is what you would expect when you have GPS satellite locked on. So now I'm going to bring it back in again, just show you once again what's going to happen. Now I do have the vision positioning system still off. So once it loses GPS signal and it's already drifting already, you can see that right now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on the vision positioning system here. <laughs> A little bit hard because it's drifting at the same time. All right, I think I'm going to just actually skip that part here because it's a little bit too hard to control the drone and change the settings. But you've gotten a really good idea what happens when you do lose signal and you don't have the vision positioning system enabled. And that's going to happen certainly when you have it on and it's at nighttime, you're going to lose control of the drone. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and bring it back home and land the thing. All right, so another thing here, when you're trying to land and you have the vision positioning system off, getting a little away from me here, it's hard to land. So here I've turned the vision positioning system back on and it's stable again. And I should be able to go through the regular landing sequence. So let's see, yeah. So here we go. All right, so that was exciting here. All right, so that is it. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, appreciate you hitting that like button. Got a lot more videos coming up as well, so Go ahead and subscribe as well if you like. Alright, so thanks for watching you guys. Happy flying. Bye.